What's going on everybody? David here. Today I want to talk about how I almost destroyed my Sony a7R 3 So uh, last week I was in Thailand and I was having a really good trip and first off this camera is not weather sealed and that's one issue that I have with the camera. I love it. It takes great pictures but it is not weather sealed. I'm used to, I, I've had Canon cameras in the past, and I'm used to being able to just be out in the rain, go out in the boat and get it wet and stuff like that. As long as I'm not dipping it in the water, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, but I had, I had some problems with this camera uh, on my trip. And basically, I was getting in and out of boats, going to these different islands, got in a kayak, and I'm in the kayak, and I have the camera kind of at, at my waist, at waist level, and I'm sitting down. And, you know, the boat gets a little, or the kayak gets a little uh, rocky, and water just came up, and it came up all the way over and just completely got all over the camera. So, it was working okay, because the first thing I do after that, I'm like, oh my god, I just killed my camera. So, I'm, I turn it on, it's working fine, I'm able to take pictures. I'd say about five minutes into it, it started showing me an error message that's showing me that the accessory was not compatible or something like that and so it would come on and then I would quick you know do a, a, a half press of the shutter and it would go away and then it would come back so I, I'm trying to take pictures and I'm trying to focus every time I have press it would go away and come back and it just kept flickering so I'm out there I'm frustrated my day is over as far as as far as photos it was like halfway through our, our little uh, excursion that we were doing so I, I was pretty frustrated. I, I have to say I was I was I was depressed. I was halfway through my trip, and like we were in I think day five, and we were going to be there another six days, and my camera is, is not working. And that's what I do. I, I I go on these trips to take pictures. That's the the main reason that I go. So I have this camera. I have a couple of other cameras, but this is the camera that I want to take all my my epic landscape pictures with. So I get back, I get back to the hotel and I, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. So what I do is I go to the liquor store and I'm thinking, initially I'm thinking it's the, the connections. I'm thinking the connections on the lens, that's what's giving me the problem. Uh, they're not connecting right. So every time I turn the camera off, turn it back on, it's saying that the, the lens is not compatible. It's, it didn't say the lens is not compatible, it just said the accessory. So that's what I'm thinking. And so I go to the liquor store, I get some alcohol, I get some saline uh, solution, I get Q-tips and I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to go back and just try to clean this out as much as I can. Not really knowing what I'm doing. I don't even know if, if that's proper to do that. So uh, something told me before, you know what, before you start doing that, why don't you go on some of the forums and see if anyone else is having the same issue. So sure enough, uh, that error message, people, other people were getting that error message. And uh, what one of the forms says is that it's the hot shoe. It's not the actual lens. Because that's what I'm thinking was a lens. Some other people were thinking it was a lens as well. And so uh, the way that you can test that, take your lens off, turn your camera. Could, because basically, if I turn the camera off and turn it back on, it will automatically show me that, that uh, error message. So what I did is I took the lens off, turned the camera off, turned it back on. It showed me the error message. So now I know it's not the lens. So now I'm focused on the uh, the hot shoe. So when you you know when you first buy this camera, uh, buy any Sony camera, they have this little plastic piece, and I threw mine away when I first got it because I didn't think it was anything that I needed to keep. But uh, you should keep that, and there's a reason why. So what I found is the that water got inside of the hot shoe, and it shorted it. And so that's what was giving me the error message. So it was thinking that there was some type of flash that was uh, hooked onto it and that flash wasn't compatible. So it was giving me that warning. And so what I did is I, I looked on some of the other forms and they talked about, you know what, use a blow dryer. So I used a blow dryer. The first time that I used it, I uh, turned the camera off, turned the camera back on, still got the error message. Half pressed the shutter, the error message went away. And then I was able to use it for, I think I, I just was kind of testing it, took a couple of shots and it worked. Okay, so I'm getting somewhere. Because before, anytime I did, a, the, it would show the error message, I do a half press. As soon as I release that half press, the, the error message would come back up. 
So now I was at least able to take some pictures. So then I waited a little bit, turned it back off, turned it on again, showed me the same error message, did the, the, the half press. I was able to take some pictures. So I was, I was like, okay, it, it's, it seems to be working. At least it's showing me the error message, but it's allowing me to take pictures. So then I got the, the, the blow dryer again, did it again. This time, turned it off, turned it back on. Guess what? No error message. So I started taking some pictures, and then after a while, I'd say after like 10 minutes of kind of messing around with it, I saw the error message again. But I saw it once, I half pressed it, it went away. So then I said, okay, you know what? Let's blow, blow dry it again. Put the blow dryer on there again. Then after that, turned it off, turned it on, no error message. I went out for the rest of the day, I was taking pictures, it was working fine. So the blow dryer really helped. Uh, but the moral of this story is this little plastic piece, if you don't have it, get on Amazon and, and pick one up because you, you need to have it in there and that will keep your, your camera, even though it's not weather sealed, it will at least keep your camera sealed as far as the hot shoe because that's probably one of the, the weak points or probably the first thing that, that's going to go. Um, so just something I learned and it actually worked out for me. Uh, I was really depressed when I was when I was there, and it took me a whole day and a half to figure this out. Uh, I even went so far as going to um, one of the camera shops in in Thailand just try to see if and maybe I, I don't know what I, at that point I was thinking, you know what, I'm just going to buy another camera. That's how serious I was about uh, taking some pictures. But I really like to know what you guys think. So if you had a similar issue, please post in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.